There are three keys, I believe, to making money. The word of the day. First one's perspicacity. Most people go through life and they do not pay attention. I've said this before and I want to stick by it because it's so important. You need to pay attention to every single time you spend money because you cannot make money. You're not the Federal Reserve, you're not a government. Governments make money. All of us take money from somebody else or a business or a government. We take money from other things. So the easiest way to learn how to get good at taking money is to pay attention to every time someone takes money from you. So next time you buy a coffee, don't just buy the coffee and drink it and think nothing of it like every brokey. Don't do that. Say, okay, I, why am I buying this coffee? Okay, I want a coffee. All right, why am, I, why am I buying here? Well, this is on my way to work. Is there any competition around? Do I also want breakfast? Do they sell breakfast? No, they don't sell breakfast. They could probably make some more money if they were selling breakfast. Anyway, I walk in, there's a long line. Why is there one member of staff? I'm low on time. I'm about to leave and not buy the coffee. They're about to lose money because it's taking too long. Most of the people in this line are businessmen. Why is there not a cute girl behind the counter? I bet if they paid a cute girl a little bit more, they'd still make a bunch more money because people would come in here to talk to her. Think. And then you, what you'll do is, as you go through life, every time you spend money, is you'll realize the problem is not how to make money. The problem is how much time you have because there's endless business ideas. There's endless ideas. I walk into a coffee shop and by the time I've walked out, I already know exactly how to open up next door and outcompete them head to toe. I already have worked out how much is the rent, how, where are they fucking up, what are they not selling that they should be selling, what are they doing good, what are they doing bad, this chair is too hard, I'll wreck them. And, I'll send a, and now my network is so powerful, which is the second point, network, I can send a few messages on WhatsApp and make a bank transfer. And two months later, there's a brand new coffee shop next door with my name on it, put them out, put them out of business. So the first thing is you have to pay attention. Because if you pay attention, you'll start to learn that money is everywhere. Every building is owned. These are skyscrapers, bro. Billion, 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 billions. Every apartment nowadays is a million. Million, million. You drive down a street in London, you're driving past trillions of dollars. There's money everywhere. It's all around us. When I was broke, I thought that the world was broke. I thought that there was no money. And then I got rich and realized that I was completely utterly wrong. There's so much money. It's everywhere. If I go to try and buy a plane or a jet, they're always sold out. My yacht is a fucking six year waiting list. I want a Bugatti, they launch it, the email comes to my email address, two minutes later, gone. Like, there's so much money. If I want a diamond watch or a million dollar watch or a million dollar Rolex, it, you can't get this stuff. There is so much money out there. Once you get to a certain echelon, you realize there's money fucking everywhere. So there's plenty of money in the world. People with no money are just not very good at taking it. So you need to start paying attention. It's the first thing. Second thing is network. It's hard to make money if you don't know anybody who has money. If you sit in a room full of ice cream experts and all they talk about is ice cream, how to make ice cream, the different flavors, how to store it, how to move it, how to sell it. Even by accident, if you hang around with these people long enough, when someone asks you a question about ice cream, that's what you're gonna, you're gonna know the answer. You're gonna say, you know what? That's because it's pistachio and that needs to be two degrees higher than chocolate. And you're gonna look like a smart ass. So if you sit in a room full of people who are making a bunch of money, everyone understands this. Your network is your network. You're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Everybody understands this. And then they still hang around with fucking losers because they're dummies. You're right, I am the sum of the five people I spend the most time with. Anyway, this is my friend Nick. He's so funny when we go drinking because he gets really drunk. <laughs> losers. I don't talk to anybody who is not winning. Everybody whose phone, uh, every phone call I will answer, if I answer a phone call, it is from a winner. I don't talk to losers. Everyone I talk to is rich. Everyone I talk to is making money. Everybody. If my entire reality is full of multimillionaires making money, how am I not gonna make money? And this is why network is so important is because it's the same reason that wolves hunt in packs. If you're a lone animal, you have one set of eyes. But if you're a pack, you're watching every single angle, every single side. Perhaps I might miss something. I'm as perspicacious as possible. But one of my friends identifies that the war in Ukraine is gonna change and the Russian ruble is gonna pump. You can make a bunch of money on a forex trade, for example. I may not have noticed, but he'll notice. Now I've made a bunch of million dollars to get a text message, right? Mm. Because I have friends who are paying attention. All of us are paying attention. So your network is super important, that's another thing. We'll go into this because I have something called The War Room, which is also on corporatetech.com and let people read for themselves. But that's my private network. And we specifically talk about money and, and a few other things. 
but that's is that like more like a mastermind it's it's the real world's how to make money and the war rooms what to do with money if that makes sense yeah it's all on corporate.com i don't want to get off track but it's there but second is network and third is to identify the reason why you don't have as much money as you want so far and there's one of three reasons you are either lazy stupid or arrogant those are the only three reasons anyone is poor and you have to identify and choose which one it is the majority of people are not the one they think they are. The majority of people are the one I'm about to say at the end. So let's start with lazy. There are a lot of lazy people. The unfortunate reality about money is that you are competing. So it's player versus player. It's like anything in the world. If you want that beautiful girl, so does everyone else. You have to win the competition. You want that car, you have to get it first. You want that money, everyone wants that money. You have to compete. It's competitive. Business is competitive. You are competing against people like me. You're competing against people like the people in my network. You're competing about people who only talk about money, who understand money very well, who operate in jurisdictions all around the planet, who are extremely well connected, who know things before you know them, who have mass influence and mass power and mass resource. You're competing against me. This is what you must understand. You're not waking up going, I want to make some money. You're competing against people like me. You're competing against billionaires. You're competing against hedge funds. How do these hedge funds keep growing? Where are they getting that money from? From the brokies. They're robbing you. They're robbing all the poor people from the pension fund, dummy. That's where they get it from. This is who you're competing against. So the competition is absolutely and utterly fierce. Understanding that, understanding that you're a man with a small pistol up against a mighty army. If you want to add a little bit of laziness on top, you're fucked. So when I say people are lazy, they go, I'm not lazy. I work hard every day. You work eight hours a day? <laughs> you work eight, eight? <laughs> the fuck? If I'm awake, I'm working. I'll be driving my Bugatti Chiron through Dubai, working. I'm texting at the same fucking time. I don't take a second off. I don't take a minute off. I don't relax. I don't rest. I don't stop. I don't chill. None. Ever. I'm either asleep or at work. That's it. Second I wake up, I check my phone, I begin working. I go to the gym in between sets, I am working. I'm online working the entire fucking day until the second I go to sleep, I am at work. That is all I do. And you are at home competing against me and you want to watch a movie tonight and then say you're not lazy. You're fucking lazy and you're gonna lose forever. That's laziness. Next is stupid. I don't think many people are actually too stupid to be rich. You can be below average IQ and still get very rich. Very, a very small percentage of people are too dumb to be rich. The slave minds, they'll never be rich because the matrix tries to keep you poor because when you're poor, you can't think like we talked about earlier. So everything the media tells you is designed to make you poor. They want you broke and struggling because if you rely on the government for food stamps and you can't argue with the government, can you? So that's what they want. So anyone who believes in the matrix and believes in media and believes in the lies they're told, anyone who sits there and goes, that's true, that it's literally designed to make you broke. That's why it's all a scam. Do your GCSEs, do your A-levels, get in debt, go to uni, get out, get a shit job, get a mortgage. Don't worry, when you've paid that mortgage off when you're 61, then you'll have enough money to go to Spain for holiday. Then your pension comes. Oh, government doesn't have the pension money anymore. Funny enough, hedge fund stole it. Pay half your money in your life in tax. Oops, de doops. <laughs> and then you wake up one day and go, whoa, I just got fucked. So the whole scam, the whole story is a lie because they want you broke. They don't want you rich. If you're rich, you won't listen to them. So all of it's a fucking lie. And intrinsically, we all know this, right? If I, when I pull up in one of my 30 cars to a gas station and people look at me and they see a Lambo or a Ferrari or a Bugatti or a Koenigsegg, whatever I'm driving, nobody goes, wow, he went to school. No, they think drug dealer, gangster. They're thinking, they're thinking he broke the rules because anyone who follows the rules doesn't get shit. <laughs> it's all a scam. It's all a fucking lie. 